Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how you should prepare for the Cognizant technical interview and I will share my experience like how the interviewer asked me the questions then we will discuss how the interview will be going to happen for the 2025 batch to 2024 batch we had an interview on Superset like you applied application through the Superset in the interview session there will be a time on that particular time you need to log in into your superset account and navigate to the interview panel and you, you need to wait i will explain you detailly next one more thing is like how you should respond to the interviewer what kind of questions they are going to ask and for each cluster we are going to discuss other than this we are going to discuss how you should answer each and every questions and how you should crack this interview everything i'm going to explain you very detailly so watch this video till the end to crack this interview first let me discuss what are the topics and you need to prepare you need to keep in mind whatever the cluster you have attended like if you attend a c-sharp cluster coding questions you need to give interview based on that and interview will be completely based on c-sharp so you need to prepare for that if you are from java cluster you know only python they are not going to ask you python questions in the java interview whatever the cluster is equal to the interview questions you need to keep that on a mind and you need to prepare according to that first the programming basic java c c sharp here i have given c plus plus but for the cognizant we only have the three programming languages java c sharp and python next for the data structure you need to cover only this like array string link list tag queue hash map most of our questions will be based on array and a string next if you see the algorithm sorting like they will ask you bubble sort algorithm and mesh sort algorithm for the past people who have attended interview in june they mostly receive these kind of questions in this video i will also tell you how you should prepare what are the questions you can expect if you see this video till the end you can completely crack this interview for the sql join subquery normalization this three is enough other than you do not need to go deeply for the sql next we will see the what are the other topics we need to cover if you see the cs concept we have dbms ois networking basic like most commonly these are very expressions like most rarely only they are going to ask you ois and uh, networking basic for dbms they may ask the commands like ddl what are the commands you need to prepare that just see very basic in the cs concept topic if you come to the project you need to explain with the tech stack and what is the purpose of a project and how you should meet that if you explain the project very clearly your 50 percentage of interview is done because based on the project only they are going to ask you next questions next for the coding round it is very easy for me they ask me just to write a even or odd code and find the prime number in java they don't even ask you that medium kind of questions like the coding question will be very easy so you don't need to fear about that i will also tell you what are the codings you need to practice next we will see the hr questions they usually tell you first question will be started from tell about yourself you need to include everything whatever you can express yourself next your strength and weakness then you should explain why you need to join cognizant and where do you see yourself in five years so the mandatory questions will be like tell about yourself and why cognizant you need to prepare these kind of questions because it usually express how you are answering to these questions mostly they will tell you some awareness once the interview is started they will tell you if someone is asking money to pay for a cognizant interview or any other process from the cognizant the cognizant is usually don't get money from a students or anyone they will instruct some awareness then only they start an interview next i will tell my interview experience on june 2 i have attended the interview from the 2 30 to 4 pm batch like in the interview 
Super said there will be some specific timing. Now two thirty is my interviewer schedule, but the interviewer three o'clock. This usually happens because they usually interview many people. So according to their time only, they are going to join until you need to wait in the super sent interview panel. Next, first he explain the awareness like you should not pay anything cognizant regarding. Next, he asked me tell about yourself. And I have explained everything. Next, I am from a Java cluster. So the Java questions have been started first. Uh, why Java is an independent programming language? And uh, questions are commonly based on the OOPs concept. Like uh, why polymorphism? What is abstraction? I explain each and every term with a real time example. If you take polymorphism, it will exist from uh, many forms. So I will always explain with a real time example. Next uh, for a SQL, he asked me very two questions like uh, what are the types of uh, SQL joins and uh, he asked me to explain each and every joins. Then I explained everything. Mostly the I will rate this interview like if it is a rating from out of 5, I will rate this interview difficulty level as 3.5 because every question is easy. I will tell you what are the things you need to see before an interview. If you are from Java cluster, you need to cover all the basic whatever you can. I will list the sum of a questions you need to go through that. And for the coding too, you have to sum, see very basic questions like sum of all the digit prime number even or odd very very basic programming they are going to ask you if no programming is asked in the interview next algorithm will be asked like bubble sort algorithm merge sort algorithm this is going to be asked I have made one PDF like you need to prepare questions based on the cluster wise if you are from Java I have given some of our questions like it will uh, around 30 plus questions for Java and SQL. If you are from Java cluster, there will be no HTML, CSS and JavaScript questions. In very rare case only, you are going to get that. The interviewers completely depend on the interviewer, guys. If you are lucky, you will get an easy questions. If you are not, you should definitely prepare for all the questions, whatever they are going to ask. And in some of the case, they usually ask some logic based questions. Some even get the aptitude questions in an interview. It is very rare case but most of the interview are not going to ask aptitude or logical based questions. But some will definitely ask you need to prepare for that too. So let us see the each by each interview like previous year students have some attended offline. At first the Cognizant have scheduled offline interview then they changed into online interview. So it will differ for the batch. If you are from 2026 batch they may conduct you offline or in online based on their requirements. Let us see the each by each candidate experience. See this experience like the person have attended interview on April 5. This is the question they have asked first introduction is mandatory and first some people ask SQL questions then go into language based questions here they have got SQL questions like views in SQL and what is self join in SQL and inheritance in Java whatever you getting oops based related questions prepare with real based real time example Next, the question is Java to print vowels of your name and count that vowels. You have to take your name as an input and you need to count how many vowels are present. You can do that in if conditions too. Next, uh, SQL code. Code for the views for two table interface and abstraction class. What is difference between Python and uh, Java? What is the use of final keyword? And you should note that method overloading and method overriding is most commonly asked in Cognizant interview. You need to know this point and you should explain the project. And they will ask you these kind of questions. Able to work on any project, you should answer as. And, uh, are you open to re relocation? Yes, you should also answer this. Yes. Can you join this training Chennai or Coimbatore on April 10th of this month? 
yes you should answer these kind of questions with a positive sign of yes then only you should have a chance of 100 percentage selections in this pdf you are going to get what are the questions you need to prepare and the second pdf where you find the experience of most peoples from april to july this experience are collected from the peoples where they shared their interview experience once you go through this experience you can definitely get an idea how interview is going to be this pdf is going to be very helpful guys this will cost you only 39 rupees once you buy this only you will get mindset to prepare everything i'm not going to charge you higher if you spend this 39 you can literally crack your assessment then if the website is showing extra charges go to that link remove the option get instant answer what are the website is showing for you remove that you will get this for 39 rupees hope this video have gained valuable information to you if you find this video helpful give the feedback to this video i will love to read all your comments if you have any other queries like other than this you can dm me on a telegram i will give link in the descriptions thanks for watching do well in the interview all the best for the interview